want me y'all, y'all want me to introduce y'all as Leah Noir or Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's all right, cool. And then Then y'all can introduce yourself personally. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do something along those lines. We'll just rock out. Yo, welcome back to Coolin' Out. Kevin. So Rel, we got Neo Noir with us tonight. Oh. Talented group. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can take the mic off oh, if you want. Or you can just move it closer. You can move it closer. Right. Yes. Talented collective of artists. <laughs> Y'all can all take a, take a turn just introducing yourselves to the people. Let everyone know who you are, what you do. Where you're from. Just a little quick blur about yourself. I'm Drew, I'm 14. I'm like, <laughs> oh. Damn, <laughs> uh, yeah, this voice got like. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson's right there. Uh, nah, uh, Jump a few cuts right there. Yeah, I'm Drew. <laughs> Uh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, I sing. I play a little bit of guitar. I'm a project, some bass and stuff. Yeah. Dope, dope. All right, Siggy, uh, producer, instrumentalist. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Skip. Are you gonna skip? Y'all gonna skip my man Dan? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm not exclusively a part of Neo Noir, but I mean, you are now. Now I am, I guess. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm Dan. Um, I, I uh, Technically manages group with uh, Aramis. We're sort of the behind the scenes people, but you know, Neo Noir might become bigger than just these two guys. You never know. Gotcha. Aramis. Yeah, I guess. I, I guess I'm Aramis. Um, <laughs> yes? Yeah, just, I, yeah, I guess not. I'm just here just helping out, helping manage me, them. I don't know, Neo Noir. He's kind of like, he, he, brought, he, he, brought he brought us together. Yeah, he got brought, you. brought us together for sure. So we got Drew, Dan, Siggy, Aramis with us. So we were talking a little before the podcast started, but you know I want to talk more about the origins of this group. And Aramis, you were telling us a very interesting, interesting story about how you all came together. So if you wouldn't mind just repeating that. Oh, no problem. All right. Um, so I mean, the whole thing it, it's weird because it dates back way to like what 2011. At first, I met Daniel over here, right? And we met through some mutual friends, and we used to work on music all the time and stuff like that. And then eventually, you know. This is good. All right, so eventually I I had hit a rough spot yeah, in my go. life, and I ended up coming across uh, Siggy over here, right? And he was just making beats. He was pumping out like some of like the freshest shit I had heard at that fucking time. Hey, can I curse? Yes. yes. I heard some fuck shit. I met this. Uh, you know, I found him online, and I just I fell in love with what he was making. And I remember I was writing a lot to his stuff. Somewhere down the line, I ended up meeting Drew over here, right? Mm-hmm. And we vibed off, we connected instantaneously. It's, it's weird because I remember I had heard a track that he did with, with someone else, where I'm, you know, and it was just, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't meant for me, it wasn't, and I just, I kind of dismissed them, but it, it wasn't meant for me either. Like, I was not making happy making the music. <laughs> it was at the moment, I was like, oh God, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we ended up meeting up, and we ended up just working on a shit ton of music. These guys eventually came into contact, right? And they, I mean, they created some of the most beautiful songs I think <laughs> that any of us have heard in a pretty long fucking time. Yeah, he, he showed me his his, uh, his beats through Bandcamp and stuff, and I was kind of like making music by myself for a while, and then I was just like, a lot of people suggested like, just like team up with a really good producer and stuff, so I reached out to him, and like, obviously it was like more of a client, and- At first. Yeah, yeah producer thing. So I was just like, yo, I really wanted to do this music shit, and I'm nice. Also, like a side note, it would have stayed like that yeah. if you weren't fucking great. But then, like, we ended up. Uh, <laughs> it would have stayed like that. But then <laughs> you're good. So um, yeah. But yeah. then over time, like, we became like really good friends, more than just like artist producer relationship. Yeah. I started relating on a lot of tastes and a lot of. Uh, yeah, I maxed out like my credit cards and I was just like, yo, yeah, let's just, nah, yo, let's just make it as much as possible. Like, yeah, yeah like, so all these beats, let's just fucking do this. Yeah. And then uh, I would send him like these crazy long essays on Facebook, like, because I'm really OCD with the music and I shit. Remember, I remember. Yeah, I'd be like, no. They told yeah, us that when you were gone. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm like, I'm not, like, it's very like, meticulous. This is Justice League, I'm like, I'm like really calculated, like Batman with this shit. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm, right. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm like, by any means necessary, I just want to do this shit so much. And like, uh, he invited me to go live in Canada, in Toronto, yeah. and I was just like, "Fuck, it, I'm gonna do this." And like, you make a kind of crazy like move like that, and like, look, a lot of your, a lot of people that you like are friends with, they kind of appreciate that like that risk. Because a lot yeah. of the artists or anybody you like look up to, 
they they kind of symbolize the risk that you're afraid to take in everyday life. And I was just like, fuck, I need to like do this. Like, it's a fifty cent shit. Like, get yeah. rich or die trying that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, the, <laughs> the real risk. The real risk was he could kill your ass. Right? Yeah, that, that is worry. There, like, honestly, like I we drove all the way to Toronto and I got out there and I'm like, it just hit me there. Like, I was preparing for the move for like so long. Yeah. I don't know this guy in real life. We face him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah tell, me, tell me the story about the first time we're just showing that fucking. Oh, yo. Yeah. Yo, yeah, first day, like, we're chilling and he shows me some movie Green Room. It's like mad violent. I'm just like, is this what he's gonna do to me right now? It's like, it's like, <laughs> white supremacist. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, oh my god. It's like, like yeah, man, scary. just watch this movie. Just yeah, watch yeah, it. Like, yeah, I was like, Jesus Christ, this is scary. But at the same time, like, within two days of you coming to live with us, I was leaving for Spain for two weeks. Yeah. And I trust you with like my dog. Yeah, his my dog, partner, his cat. Uh, yeah. It's crazy. And that is, yeah, on both ends. It's like crazy. Like, he was leaving like to the festival with his girlfriend, Supreme of the Air Sounds or something. And he, like, two days meeting, like, he left me with his pets, everything. I'm just like, shit. And I'm here alone in this country. I don't know anybody watching this house for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's wow. Yeah. I mean, you know. No went, job, yeah. no nothing. Like, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I tried to get the visa thing over there. It's really tough. Yeah. Just starting to try to do that. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a quick aside, but, like, Andrew, like, I can tell you're very passionate about what you're talking about. Like, you're very intense. Like, oh, I, yeah. I, 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 just, yeah, yeah. I can sense, no. like, how passionate you are about Arrow's kind of dickhead. He gave me some fucking alpha mean and stuff like that. I'm kind of like, I'm he's, on yeah, some he's, shit. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I feel like I just did, like, fucking Starbucks and Coke and everything. All right. <laughs> 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 he really loves it. Yeah. Nah, I really do, though. Nah, yeah. Honestly, yeah, 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 yeah. Through and through. Yeah. So as far as, like, your personal origin, I'm going to go through all of you, but, like, just talk about like your love for music, when you developed this love for music, or um, when you knew you had a love for music. Um, can I move back in? Yeah. Uh, definitely, like, like I started singing in like, choir, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did that uh, when I was like young, like Times Square Church and stuff. And then like my mom put me in it, because she thought like, I was like doing musicals like that as a kid, like I never really did like, and then I picked up guitar, and I was like, yo, this musical share is only for me right now. Like I want to get back into acting one day maybe, but. I just want to like, I just like, I like in musicals, people like the teacher picks your role for you and stuff like that. Like, mm-hmm. like I have my own jurisdiction creatively, like create my own stuff. I'm just like making music on my own. So like, I really kind of like have my own like habitat. I'm not going to put this dead But yeah, just like I've been doing music for a really long time. And I think I was in school with him. Like you would never guess in school that I was doing that stuff. I was kind of just more private with it. And then oh. there comes a time like in development, no matter what you do, uh, where like your development needs an audience. Like mm-hmm. you can't just like be alone in your room just making music all the time. You gotta like develop in front of people. And, like that's that's part of the criticism and all stuff and growth. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would say definitely knowing you from high because I remember you came like oh, the the last year. year, like the second to the last year. Yeah, everything so, got a label. Like I'm, I was moved here yeah. that year. I come in like senior year. Like oh, that's the worst. Like, you came senior year in what grade? Uh, high school. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, oh, last wow. year. Yeah, I was everyone school. was like, yo, what the hell is it? Yeah. Yeah. last year. Like, yeah. what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But in a way though, like you realize the industry is kind of like high school in a way. Mm-hmm. So like I, I really fit in really fast in high school because like a popular kid like was like really like quote unquote popular, but like was like kind of gravitated towards me and like, hung out with me more. Mm-hmm. So like everyone's like, oh, if he's cool with Tommy, then he's cool with everybody mm-hmm. else. You know what I'm saying? And like you gotta appeal to a tastemaker musically or and or anything podcast like that. And like once they put you on, say yo, these guys are dope. A whole like fucking masses yeah. fuck with you. you know? It was like he was there for eight, the three yeah. years. He has that kind of charisma honest. about him too. He's mad extroverted. Like okay. he can, yeah. He has good people skills. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess it does. So you've been doing it since. How wait, what age? You've been. Oh, singing? I've been I've been singing for a while, but I've been playing guitar since like twelve, and then like I would just go out of my way to like learn as much as possible. Mm-hmm. I never went to school for music, but like it's something where it's just like I I really want to do this. I was just like, I'll go to Canada for this. So I'll do like random shit. Like, I've always had that. When did you make that decision? Like, I'm doing this on music. I'm not doing it on music. Like oh, nine to five. Talk about the, the Craigslist article. Oh, oh yeah. The, the advertisement. I, yeah, I've been like, I've been like. Yeah, I've get been, on the mic for this one. I thought oh, it was going to be interesting. Yeah. 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 You got the coffee and everything. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, I would be like, I'm 20, like 22 years old, 23 years old, just like posting like religiously Craigslist articles. Oh, man. I, he actually, I've actually shown him this, but yeah. I would take my dad's like white oversized t shirts. Yeah, you did show me that one. And time. yeah, and like draw ads on them, like, yo, singer, guitarist, needs a band, and just walk around the city, just like walk around. Like, wow. Yo, know, people would just be like laughing and start like, what the fuck is this kid doing? And I'd just like be walking, 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 just like, as this is, this is everything I want to do. Like, I don't really want to do anything else, so. Wow, wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, part of this is a lot of passion, and part of this is fucking out for me right now. It's not at all, I'm saying a lot, yeah. because, like, it takes a lot to just, like, throw yourself out there. Yeah. The average I mean, person would not throw themselves no. out there. I mean, like, what are your options, though? It's like, you're going to be miserable, like, not doing it for the rest of your life. Like, if you don't do what you feel passionate about, you're just going to just feel, like, what if. Like, that. I don't want that hanging over my head. Like, I'd rather just be, like, also kind of have this, like, this complex where I was just like, I feel like I have to do it. I feel like it's kind of destiny a little bit. Like, I'm yeah, not, like, too, like, religious or anything or superstitious, yeah. but, like, I was, like, five years old, and I had, like, 15, like, seizures by then, so I feel like I'm kind of a little, like, bulletproof a little bit. Like, I wasn't really supposed to be, like, kind of be, I mean, I've taught for a little while, and, like, I've made, been making music for a long time, but, like, I was at five years old, the doctors were, like, it told my mom, like, if he has more seizures, his brain is going to be damaged. If, but you can also put him on medication, but he's also going to have develop, developmental delays as well. And she was kind of at like a like a crossroads. It was like, I'm gonna intentionally hurt him or like let him get hurt. And like, thankfully, I just grew out of it out of nowhere. So yeah, yeah. Like I just feel like this is all extra time I've been granted. It's just like yeah. I've heard I've heard good saying about something like that once. Like, if you're like you can fail at whatever, so why not just fail at whatever the yeah, fuck exactly, you want to do? Exactly. Yeah. So like. There's no, there's no reason not to follow your dreams. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So and you've got to be like ambitious. Like you gotta, you gotta chase your dreams. Yeah, honestly, like I said before, like passion is like, really contagious. Like mm-hmm. your friends like see how bad passionate you are. It's like honestly, like I'm not trying to get like too like deep or anything right now. But, be like, deep, be yourself. Like <laughs> yeah, like uh, we're all just kind of like energy a little bit. Have you ever seen that movie like Big Fish? And, like the dad tells his son all these stories and shit like that, and like. At the end, like he never meets his grandson, but he's like metaphorically a fish, like swimming with his grandson in the pool. So like, you're an energy now. Like you influence the people in your life. Like you're gonna be like everyone dies, but like your your memory kind of lives through other people and shit like that. Like, I just want to impact people like while I'm here, where I'm still kind of like flowing after mm-hmm. I'm dead and shit like that. So, and like just rubber banding off what Sidney said, in terms of like you know the failure aspect, I think that we just as a culture, as as, as a species, we're scared of failure mm-hmm. when we shouldn't be. Because at the end of the day, you could be 70 years old and you could be the happiest 70 year old on the planet. But if you didn't try to do it, whatever dream you had as a kid, you didn't try to at least achieve it, right? Mm-hmm. You're gonna you're gonna pass with that regret because you don't know the what if, right? Whatever we're working for right now, it could completely blow up tomorrow, for all we know, mm-hmm. in a good way and a bad way. 30 years from now, right? No one's gonna take away their passion. No one will be able to like say, hey, look, you used to have this talent. But you didn't go for it, you know? yeah. so now you're stuck with with this, and whether you're happy, or whether you're not, yeah. right? You just you don't know the outcome of it, yeah. and I think that like that that's a message that to anyone that wants to try to achieve something, or want to do something, just you have to go for it because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, we don't know, we don't know what can happen tomorrow, we don't know what's gonna happen next week, next year. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. I'm sorry, I was gonna say like a lot of the things like we like our age, like we complain about the internet now because like the internet, like you can like. You don't have to be as talented. Like you kind of, there's a lot of smoke and smoke and mirrors with that shit, and like just put in your Instagram yeah, file. Yeah, it's like <laughs> honestly, a lot of people is just like that is a skill set in itself. Like kind of like pop off of the internet, and like, you don't have to sing good. You can like you don't have to do anything. That is a real yeah. skill. I it is it. It's own yeah. yeah, it's own skill set. Like now, but yeah. the thing is like if you kind of minimize things to so, like okay, I want to try this, and like now it's out there. Like you mm-hmm. put your song on the internet, it's there forever. Yeah, it's like I, I'm like like I said like. Per, like temporary energy, but like that shit is like permanently there. Like even if I'm embarrassed by it, like I said the old song was just was trash, but like I did music for it. Like, that's there forever. Like I can't fucking do anything about yeah. it. Yeah. All I can do is make better shit to improve off that. Yeah. You know? It's like I, I made, made this joke, but like there's gonna be a whole generation of parents where like they're all SoundCloud rappers. Like that's like, <laughs> that's mad weird. It's like it's, it is, but it, it's true though. <laughs> yeah. true. But on the flip side, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the internet though. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. we would not be here. That is very true. So and that has its pros and cons. The cons are obviously that any you know artist, I mean not even artist, anyone can wake up and say I'm an artist today. Yeah, yeah. you know. Sure. But then also you get to discover you know great music from you know phenomenal yeah. artists that you would never have any opportunity of ever um, um, learning or acknowledging. You know, just from the internet, like SoundCloud all the time. I, I just randomly like play things and then like you know just keeps playing the next track, the next track. And I'm like, yo, who is this? Like, what is this? Yeah. And I find so many dope artists on SoundCloud all yeah. the time. Sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. And like, honestly, sometimes like everything's getting like okay. So in the streaming age, music is kind of a utility now. Mm-hmm. It's not like people aren't gonna really pay attention and give you the proper due. Mm-hmm. Like, if you if you told me like if you showed me Jesus the first time, I'd be like, mm. but like that's Jesus. Jesus is something that really grew on me. Like the more I heard it, the more I I heard people like in favor of it. 
more they argued for it, mm -hmm. and certain like certain works that are kind of like controversial, like you the internet doesn't give you the opportunity to do that now. Yeah. Because like you go to forums and blogs and shit like that, people are gonna really make your case or like put you onto something. Yeah. Like some passionate ass people. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Exactly. But that's the, but that's like a, a good thing though. No, it's pretty yeah, exactly. It's, it's a great thing. It's so accessible. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You like pay ten dollars a month for Spotify, and you can listen to anything you want. Yeah. At any time. Like, yeah. That's right. But like, you just, sometimes you just don't get like the, you don't really get the, like, the proper appreciation for it. It's like everything's so saturated. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's like, like so, so fast much like shit out there. Yeah, yeah you have to like, like basically yeah. comb yeah. through all of that. Yeah, yeah. that the real music is. That it's it's like it's hard to appreciate things because new music is gonna come out every day and you have access to that new music every day. Yeah, right? it wasn't like before where like you you bought an album and that was your album for the next eight weeks, three months, yeah. whatever the case may be. It's like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could listen to somebody, yo, this is trash, right? <laughs> <laughs> on to the next one. Yeah. Now, like before, you buy something, whether it's trash or not, you're stuck with that. Yeah. Do you guys still sit with music? Or has that affected you? What do you mean? Like the saturation, like you, you mentioned, music comes out every week, every day. Do you like go with it every day, or do you still find music that you really like and I mean, you still sit with it? I, personally, I don't even keep up with music. Like, I, I know what I like, like, uh, sometimes I'll be hit in the face by a band or something that I really, really like, but, like, personally, like, I don't even, I don't have the patience at this point, like, I, I just go, like, I, I literally don't even keep up, I mean, um, I used to be, like, a crazy hip-hop head, like, and I still am, like, yeah. uh, like, Mad Villainy is, like, my, right, like, top five favorite albums all the time, but I don't even listen to rap anymore, like, yeah. Um, unless it's somebody that I already know is good and is gonna bring it, for example, like Kendrick Lamar or somebody like that. Mm -hmm. um, so I will listen to their shit because I know it's good. But you have so much pretentious shit and like so much garbage out there that like I literally like, and I, I get there's a place for everything. Like there's like, oh, it's gonna bump in the club, whatever. But that's not my like, that's not my taste. But yeah. um, so like personal, that's just like my personal view on things. Like I like. I know what I like, uh, but uh, I'm, I don't feel the need really anymore to keep up with things because at this point, I mean, you, you do have good artists coming out all the time, but like, who's really bringing something new to the table that um, is gonna like interest me like artistically? Mm. Uh, is it gonna bring anything that I can't do? Because that also has like another aspect to it because if I hear a song, and I know that I can make that beat in fucking 15 minutes, I'm not even like, <laughs> it's like, it does not interest me. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's like, that's kind of like why I'm kind of conflicted on that, why it's kind of like a curse in the sense where I can't really like, um, cause I'm mad stubborn too, like I, mad picky, so like, um, personally, yeah, that's just like my stance on it, but yeah, you can go around. Sure, your opinions. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to become that uh, too. Like that shit now. I haven't told. Yeah, it's very in depth. I don't. I don't remember the questions. Like, oh, you said the music, right? Uh, yeah, I listen to a lot of songs, but I listen to them, like over and over again. Mm -hmm. You get a lot from them, especially like there's so many different ways to look at a song. Like there's production end, uh, the songwriting end. Like even like honestly, like the way people like layer vocals and like layer like it's you can really listen to the song hundred times because they know it or just like. Yeah. It, to that, like now, like especially with like our music, we kind of want to do that now. Now there's a lot of like social music where it's got a deeper social meaning, mm -hmm. but like like on a tertiary level, right? But on the to like topically, it's just that's in the catch you can sing along to and stuff like that. But there's a lot, so many people making good music with like a, like a hidden message behind it, where it's like, yo, know, this is like honestly like like surmising a lot of times right now, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I, like off someone off the top of my head, uh, he's like Kendrick Lamar, but SZA like SZA has like these songs where it's just like they're really like. Socially, there's like there's an agenda behind it. It's it's amazing to me in person. Like I think it's like I think it's the answer to a lot of different things going on. Mm -hmm. So, but she's great. She's honestly like to me, she's like she's like a fusion of like odd future, like like people like Kendrick, um, like Frank Ocean and yeah. like Kendrick Lamar, TDE, that whole vibe. She's like really amorphous. She's really good. And then yeah, I mean I was gonna say like, my, I mean my opinion with this like the internet and just the modern day my bad, just the modern day distribution of music is like I guess the kids and people that are actually seeking these things out actually bring these things to the forefront. Someone mentioned our future. You know, these kids just started off on Tumblr and YouTube and just making these cool rap videos yeah. and songs. And 
I mean, you know, there was just this like joint consensus of like, yo, these kids are doing something cool. Like, and I think that's like the benefits of growing up in this like this era. You know, like while there's like a saturation in the market, I think people can actually pick and choose what they like. Because before, you know, you had like yeah. you had like that's radio, point. you had radio, you had radio running things. You know, you, you know. Radio would tell you what's what's popping, what's cool, mm-hmm. you know. Or you know, back then you would go into like a Tower Records, or like back when I was coming up, you know, you go into Tower Records. Or, old? You know, <laughs> no, I'm old. <laughs> I, mean, I, just that, I just wasn't that familiar on Tower Records. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was really I mean, I'm, I'm 25, yeah. and I got to appreciate that. The first album I ever copped was the Blueprint on CD mm-hmm. with yeah, like yeah. my own fucking allowance money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So like, you know, or like go uptown to Harlem, you have like people with the blankets laid the out. Fuck That's <laughs> like yeah. every album. You know what I'm saying? Hot 97 volume, like. Fucking fifteen with all these <laughs> yeah. radio songs on it, but you know I think now like there's just more of opportunity to get discovered because you could become an overnight sensation mm-hmm. tomorrow. You know I think if the music connects with people sonically, you got SoundCloud like algorithm algorithms and all that shit. You know people find music every day. I think if it's good, people are gonna find it. Yeah, and there's more of an opportunity to find it. You know back then. Right now, you don't have to work as hard because back then you'd have to work the streets and show up at a record label, you know, in front of their buildings and shit, trying to force people to hear your shit. Like, yo, here's my demo. You know what I'm saying? Now, like, there's access, and I think that's I where like know, yeah, there's an outlet for everything. And I think yeah. with these guys now, like, that's what works in their favor because the music sounds good, and we can market it to a mass population with the internet. So I mean, it, it works both in good and bad ways because the internet saturates things, but you know. People will like weed out what's good. Yeah, yeah. 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 The thing with saturation is like you, you kind of realize this too with like the way you're like record labels, like their involvement, like the business. Like I always say, music business is like a marriage between the two, like, the most beautiful and most ugly word. Yeah. Like yeah. not to like to shade any like labels or anything, but people think analytically when it comes to, like like numbers and like stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So like you said, let's say like over saturation. Like I'm not gonna say anything better, anybody's bad. I'll just like say like someone yeah. I actually like. Uh, I like Lil Uzi, like I think he's a really fresh for music, but a lot of people, but a label will see that and say like, oh man, he's making these numbers, this, that, and then you see like, all these like, little like clones of like the same type of generation, it's like, we only need one Lil Uzi though, like that's, that's cool, like we don't yeah. need like oh, so many extra of these things, same things, but it's so many people like, this label has this thing, it's working, this label wants the answer to that, and I need my version of this, and it's just like, you're not, I think people are trying to like, there's more of a balance with the internet where people are getting, demanding what they want rather than just like, mm-hmm. Labels trying to like replicate something over yeah. there, you know. Yeah. That that's why I like we're in like a beautiful time because like if I want to listen to like 13th century like, Bavarian folk music, <laughs> you find that I can get on Spotify, right? I yeah. get on Apple Music, and it's like going back to what you said about like you know you just you eat that shit. It's just like the yoga folk where nah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's bumping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I just want to say I'm finally yeah. coming down now, so I'm feeling good. You can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was like, oh, Jesus. You spoke last. It was like, yeah. Your eyes were a little low. I said, yeah. I yeah. <laughs> He's back with us now. I feel like I almost got some Pulp Fiction shit right now, like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's bleeding over here. Yeah, I really am. I am bleeding. I saw that. Yeah, I, yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah. I, I think it came out blood, my blood stream. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> some alcohol wipes. Yeah. yeah. But nah, so like, it's funny that you mentioned, well, Kev, you mentioned sitting with music and you mentioned. Like you listen to music like over a hundred times and you can hear like different sounds and like how full and people layer music. I'm like one of I like one of the people I know that still like listen to music. Sure. But, uh, I can like for example, this is matter in it, but like Nipsey Hustle just came out yeah. last week, I think, right? And it's like one like when I get stuck on a song, I <laughs> listen I listen to that song for hours straight. I, I haven't even finished his album yet. He's trying to listen to I listen to yeah, 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 I listen yeah, to track. Yeah, I listen yeah, to track yeah, four. Yeah, yeah. We hear the music. Nah, stop. So I get stuck on a track, and I just keep listening to it over and over and over and over again. And every time I listen to it, it's like I hear something different every single time I listen to it. I hear a different ad lib. Yeah. I hear like a different harmony underneath it. Like yo, oh, someone sung underneath that. You know, yeah. and someone singing like multiple layers underneath it. It's just you listen to music that many times, you get to hear so many different things in it. In it you know. Yeah, and that's to go off that. That's a sign of a great song. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you listen to it so many times, and you always discover something new about it, or like you just never get sick of it basically yeah mm-hmm. and to go off that oh sorry to go off that though like it's just like it's a really important point like one like the concept for the project that we we're working on like it's called not all there while you're here mm-hmm. but let's talk about that yeah yeah no, no but like you can listen to a song in like 2007 and it means something totally different to you in 2017 mm-hmm. right like you could date somebody and like i wasn't ready for this in this time in this moment but like yo i grew because of this and like if i was this person back then 
it, I could apply it differently. Yeah. But sometimes you grow in spite of things. Sometimes it's meant for a whole different situation. Like everything happens for a reason. But like I like I said before, like sometimes you're gonna hear something early on and it mm -hmm. doesn't like resonate with you, mm -hmm. and then it hits you later on. It's like, yo, this is kind of crazy. Like this this fits my life right now. Yeah. Like a lot of so many classics from when we were kids. It's you realize really, realize the real like meaning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and you're like, oh, you're like, holy shit! Yeah. Like, damn, like it applies to your life. Yeah. It's like it's like twenty something year old, thirty something year old, like applies to their life. Yeah. Like, there's, there's, like, when you're a kid, you just listen to formalities. Like yeah, like oh, this shit's hard. Yeah. Now you go back and you're like, wow. Like, damn, yeah, uh, okay. yeah. Speaking mm -hmm. some truth though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's talk about your project though. Uh, what was what, what what feeling were you trying to get from it? Because like what I listened to, I mean, I was still four tracks out of it. Didn't have time, but. What I got from it was like more of like the first three songs and two were kind of like I, I want to say dark. I, I don't know is that the correct word to say dark. No, I, I guess so. It, it's really like uh, yeah, that's good. That's a good term. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to say that. It's not a negative. It was just no, like, no, 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 it, was no. Like, it was darker, and then like no hesitation for me it was just like brighter, yeah. brighter, like, yeah, very yeah, bright. Yeah. So I just wanted to know since I didn't finish the project, like what what vibe were you trying to go for on the entire project or? What, what, like what sound were you going? The vibe kind of changes a lot, like mm -hmm. as you go on, and I kind of wanted to. We were talking about this at the day in the studio as we were kind of like working the songs and kind of mixing them down. But uh, neo noir, like the name, is like my, one of my favorite film genres. Like, we talked about this. Like when I listen to his music, like alone, no vocals or anything, it sounds like a film score. Like I'm listening to like some Martin Scorsese shit, and it's just like, yo, this is like, if I could just put my my life and that's like the script or like his life or my perception of it, mm -hmm. so like this film score. And then that's kind of like a, a niche right there, cause like you don't wanna you don't wanna be like everyone like everyone has, is successful for a reason, you know like Justin Bieber or all these people like that, like they have their own thing, like you can't like really like I'm not it's not saying like oh I don't like some particular artist, but I don't wanna surmise my own experiences and someone else's the same thing. Like I wanna have I wanna find my own niche and then exp expand it, or we find our own niche and then expand it, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, New York came from that, and like I really like movies like Taxi Driver, Pulp Fiction, Dark Knight, like that that vibe. So and also like in terms of writing, I kind of think about the song visually. I kind of like sometimes I'll write treat like I never write lyrics down, but like I'll write a treatment down, like a pseudo video, and then I'll kind of go off that and create a story from there. But um, wait, you write treatment down for a video? Yeah, like read like a paragraph. Like I don't go like all in depth. Right? Wow, maybe like, just like yeah, just like based off of, like my own experience, like in my home, like something like that. But I don't like write the actual lyrics down because like. I just want like the words to sometimes you write things down and you overthink and it's like not relatable. Mm -hmm. So uh yeah, for sure like that. That's mm -hmm. like one of my, my main writing styles. You also just got a forty eight page email. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so <laughs> lyrics, <laughs> lyrics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, back lyrics when you were trying to get in touch, I didn't even read all your shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> lyrics I'm really like that's the thing about me too. Like lyrics I'm really like I like I like June ideas a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you guys know him. He's like a like a Dominican author. He's like he, I've read some of his stuff, and it's like the structure is really weird, and he kind of speaks in like colloquialism, colloquialism that we speak in. Mm -hmm. But it's all meant for a purpose, and I wanted to kind of use like more colloquialisms, like not so much poetry, but kind of like real things people say, and like mm -hmm. they they relate to it. Um, go yeah, but sorry, going off of like the first two tracks, I wanted to kind of like create a first act where it was kind of like dark, like we we created these together. But yeah. It was like mysterious. Like you want to like listen more into it, then it gets brighter, and then like different things go on. Mm -hmm. But we, we broke it down to like movie, movie, act one, act two, act three, and then it goes like that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, as you yeah, go on yeah, to yeah. the first songs on the album, it's like the first songs that we, that we made. Yeah. 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 Personal sets of benefits we never met before. Like, yeah. like we made that, sent that over to each other back and forth, and then I was like, yo, these songs are cool. Like back in demo form. And then it kind of transitions into songs that we ended up making together from scratch, like no beat, like instrumentation, we'd work on it together, play the keys, play the guitar, come up with like some sort of like, I guess like inspiration for it, mm -hmm. we'd come up with something, some direction that we'd want to go, Yeah. and then we'd create the beat together, I mean I'd create the beat, but we'd always be like going together, mm -hmm. and um, we'd create the vibe together basically, yeah. and then you'd Right, you wrote most of the guitars on the project. You played most of the guitars on the project, and um, it just kind of like, like went from there. Yeah, even the lyrics. So, like, even yeah. if I wrote the lyrics, it's like, I mean, like, we were living together for six months, and I moved in there. You know, I mean, that was like a lot of fuel. For, yeah, for yeah. You to write. Like, uh, I'm a little bit older than him, so I've, I've kind of like gone through a lot of experience before. Like he's gone through it, but I moved in there, and he was living with his girlfriend, so he invited me to live with him and his girlfriend. 
and then they kind of had a little breakup and like seeing him go through that at that age i kind of remember being 22 myself and i'm like yo mm -hmm. this is kind of taking me back yeah. so like a lot of it's like third person perspective like you know it's like it was like wow this reminds me of this and like you kind of because I was alone over there. Like, I didn't know anybody. Like, what the fuck do I write about? Like, fucking, like, my bowel movements and shit. Like, you know what I'm you know saying? Like, imagining things. Like, what do I do? So, like, I'm just saying. So, like, yeah. yeah. So, like, um, what, like, where do I go from there? So, I was kind of just, I had a lot of inspiration lyrically. And then we talked about concepts and stuff like that. And then we kind of fleshed it out together. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very collaborated, it's like collab, like, from song, yeah, yeah. song alignment, everything is like, together you guys know any collaboration like any collaboration you do if you're kind of vibing with somebody it kind of like has like a mind of its own like yeah. you're kind of just like it's just like you just feed off something. each other everything yeah. like he fits off with the lyrics and the the way he sings the things mm -hmm. and the things were yeah. um, <laughs> and like the the vibes we create together we're all just always just vibing off each other like everything was just like we're just feeding off each other the whole time for those whole six months that we were living together and that's basically the time span that this project was created in. i mean mixing wise and everything we basically finished it today. Yeah. Like, it just got finished today. We're gonna drop it, what, Friday? Uh, this weekend. Yeah, yeah this weekend. It's all tentative because we're trying to like, work on a few things at first, yeah. but. But yeah. it, it's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. What do you want a listener to take from the project? Uh, honestly, I, I would hope that they listen to the music in the same way, like, that we talked about, where, like, you sit with it. Like, because we kind of attacked, like I said, like, we, we attacked it from multiple angles. Like, my intention was, for you to be listen to it and be like, okay, this is catchy, you're like that, that's cool. But there also is like, I want people to kind of resonate with it a little bit. Yeah, more. you need you need more than one yeah. run through to get the whole scope of it. You yeah. need to like, because it's like a whole story. Basically. Yeah, I mean, like it's kind of a lot of throwback sounds in there. Yeah, there's a lot of like, like I said, like maybe the the vernacular on it is a little bit more modern, but the the lot of the production like angles, like a lot of like the techniques. A little bit older, it's got like a little bit of a vintage sound, like that's kind of like our angle. But I think that we want you to kind of like, yeah, let's listen, listen to it more than once. Because honestly, like he he makes hip hop beats for a living. Like he makes that for a living. He drops like every month, every week. I don't even listen to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, the thing is, like we could drop a single every day. If we could do that, but like I like my mindset is like I want to zig differently, zag differently from other people. Like, I don't want to do the same exact thing as everybody else. Like. We want to kind of go back to where like we put out projects and we make you listen to them like like one of the ideas we have right now is we're actually coming up with a short film to go with the mm. the visuals i mean to go with the songs mm. so it's gonna like promote things at our, our pace so you can kind of really kind of digest it because like i said like now music is like a utility like you listen to one song and like that that song like it's what have you done for me lately like the, they they kind of fall off for two weeks like oh wait who's that again it's like yo Nicki Minaj I feel like she was on the top for a little while and she's still great but then like Cardi B comes up and it pushes her down it's like someone is always pushing someone down it's like it's a really competitive industry like you gotta be fresh 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 all the time so like even in the music industry too you realize like outside of like the, the top people are kind of like celebrities who make music. It's not like yeah. musicians who are famous because they make music. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they do yeah. things outside of music to stay relevant. And then you listen to the song. Yeah, it's entertainment. So it, it's actually it's hard to get to where you want to go because how who cares if you're not if you got like five hundred followers on like Instagram, mm. you can't have you can't use the same exploits to propel yourself like all the other people. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What genre of music? Can you you guys keep mentioning hip hop. I didn't get a hip hop like. Oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I didn't get hip hop when I listened to your when I yeah to your music. So like, what genre do you classify your music as? Uh, I would say That's like a tough question. Yeah, it's a uh, it's alternative. For sure, but a lot of like R and B and neo soul. Okay. Yeah, that, that's yeah. What I yeah. Got like we listen, to, we listen to like a lot of old soul stuff. Like yeah. one of like our favorite songs to listen to is like uh, "Summer Breeze" by the Isley Brothers. Like mm -hmm. I love Isley Brothers so much. Stevie Wonder, like Prince. Prince like. It's like a music. Yeah, like, Prince. Yeah, music. Prince. Is, for me, Prince is like God. Like honestly, no, <laughs> seriously, like that dude. Like what is Prince's genre? Honestly, what he that's does true. anything he wants. Like he wants to play funk, he does that. He wants to play a solo like Eddie Van Halen, he does that. It's like yeah. he's bigger than every. I, everyone's going for versatility now. Like no one really has a genre anymore. So yeah. like everyone's trying to go for what Prince did, like just be all over the map. Yeah. Like everyone's trying to be jack of all trades. No need to box yourself. Down. Yeah, and he's not even jack of all trades because he's like a master of everything. He's a master. Honestly, yeah. It's like as a kid trying to play guitar, it's so overwhelming to try to become as good as him in every aspect of like, what he played. It's mm. like it's intense. it's very alternative but very fun. Yeah. yeah, funk, R and B, neo soul. There, I mean, there are some like hip hop influences in there. Trent yeah. is like a good example because yeah. like a couple yeah. of the songs on the album 
our beats that you found on my channel yeah that we then kind of like yeah i mean yeah made into the yeah. our style yeah you're not going to think of them as hip-hop beats if i sing on them you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but i i found them as hip-hop mm -hmm. beats and i started singing on them yeah. and then i think that's what kind of stuck out as a customer or a client to him because like everyone was tr trying to approach his music the same way and i was just thinking about this as like oh i, I don't really rap so i'm gonna sing or like, yeah. or like you know like sing rap flow like i'm trying to do that a little bit now because like that's like the way so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. So I'm basically when I was listening to it, I got like a theatrical. Yeah. Like from the songs that I've heard, it reminds me of. Um, remember that movie? Uh, is it Driver with uh, Drive, Drive, Yeah, Drive, Drive, Ryan yeah. Gosling. Drive. He barely says shit, but like, <laughs> yeah. like a whole like Grand Theft Auto Miami. Yeah. Vice yeah. like, uh, City. Vice City. Yeah, yeah, that's what I get. Like I'm driving in like a, with the top down and like neo lights are playing in the back. Yeah, and if you listen to the early part of that, that's definitely like the vibe. Mm -hmm. It's like really mysterious, and I kind of really want that to be at the front because like we didn't know much about each other. Mm -hmm. We're making those songs. Like that's like what we made before I went out there, and like it kind of like you. You ask a question like, "What is this?" You know, but like as the, we go through it, kind of morphs into a lot of different things that we kind of like. That's what we can't even answer. Yeah, it's like we from here we're gonna go and do a bunch of crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you never know. I might, I might rap from a sixteen link. Nah, 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 you, but, <laughs> but, but, but I, yeah. no, I actually just sleeping on email. Yeah, 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 but yeah. that's that's the vibe I was getting listening to it. Like, did you guys um, basically come up with the concept for it and then put the music in, or did you? I had a title for a while. I had a title for a while, and I was like, it just sounded like a like a you know like a Ringoism or Yogi Bearism, or it's like it's like a, it's like a title where it's a contradictory a little bit, mm -hmm. and or it just like makes you think a little bit, or it's like 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 funnily worded, and I I thought it really surmised the project because it's like. It's really, I feel like it's really eclectic. I feel like it's not like, it's not like someone just throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks. It's more of just like, like an evolution of it. And then the more you listen to it, the more you see it, like, it really kind of changed complexions a little bit. Yeah. But it, it's all could be from the same artist. You know? Yeah. That's why you want to do the whole track listing as act one, act two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I would say, I would say first three songs are more of that drive like mysterious vibe and it gets brighter at the end with like uh, no hesitation mm -hmm. then we get like more into like a really like neo soul r&b vibe like yeah. four through like eight like more like urban vibe to it so whatever like hip-hop or uh then like like, like some dream pop shoe dream pop yeah yeah. yeah yeah like some fucking 70s like happy brother vibes yeah. like it's some crazy shit so. yeah i get magic jordan that's the only thing that i could get yeah. Related to, I yeah. think I told you that when I yeah, 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 and I don't even know where they fit. Like, it's very like alternative R and B ish. You, like, you know what's so weird? Yeah, exactly. It's so weird because like, I feel like they get like, like their association with Drake kind of puts them into like R and B rap R &B. because like he makes R and B. But like Drake's biggest song that they wrote is like a pop song, mm -hmm. kind of just with just like a lot of like synth textures and their like, dream pop song. But like even that song not even R and B compared to like, Drake's other song. Like, Drake, Drake has some real R and B songs compared to that. But yeah, and it's, it's true. Like they're kind of like, I guess we're all gonna find out mm -hmm. what Neil Nord makes soon. And along with Jay Jordan and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, maybe we're on some, maybe we're on to a whole new genre. Who knows? <laughs> we'll call it something later. So you spoke, you spoke a lot about like your process. What's like you guys have a little bit together? We collaborate. Can you go a little bit more in depth as far as like how is that this song comes together? Yeah. Is it more like you make the beat and then you just give it to him, or then like they're all really, oh. sorry? And in that, can you give examples of your OCD slash passion? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> slash yeah. yeah. Slash passion. Uh, we they're all different. Like some of the songs on there, I just found it on his page, and I was like plugging the train, and I just wrote it like a little while, mm. and they started from that. Some of them, like, we were just chilling in the room, just, like, it started from, like, maybe a guitar idea or something like that, and then, yeah. like, it really just, like, there's, like, no set formula to how yeah, we do it. we just, like, vibe off each other. Um, yeah. Like, we come up with melodies, then, oh, pro usually guitar, yeah. or, like, me on the keyboards, something like that, or yeah. just, like, from, like, like, for example, we were fucking listening to Miss You by the Rolling Stones for yeah, like, you like to catch fucking two out. weeks in a row. Yeah. Just for like no reason. And we then, do, yeah. then a, a song came out of that, which you can, when you listen to it, when you listen to the two songs together, you can hear the influence. Yeah. That's why we have like, that's why we don't even know what genre we are because we have so many different influences yeah. from so many different 
like past music basically. Yeah. I, I usually say to people like alternative R and B and like dream pop and stuff. Yeah. It's like I do like a lot of like because people like also putting labels on things. They yeah, know exactly. what they're yeah. I feel like I don't. I don't. If you're thinking that way, like, oh, what are we? What, what are we? Like, then we're only gonna make one song. Yeah. yeah. You creatively, you can't put yourself in the box before. Like, you, you gotta create and then say, oh, this is this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or else, otherwise, you're just like stuck and like the, mm. you know. Uh, so I say alternative R and B because it's like, Everything even though probably, yeah, probably does fit in that. Yeah, alternative R and B like like. Although you could think of all the alternative R&B like, acts that you know, like they all sound like R&B, but not really, and they don't sound like the same with each other. Mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't like say that like Frank Ocean and Miguel or Weekend can all write the same song, but they're all yeah. labeled alternative R&B. They all kind of like you know, they're all they're all disciples of Prince when you really come down from it. Yeah. Like, we're just a separate sect. Or MJ. Or MJ. Yeah. 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 No. 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 MJ. MJ is another perfect example. I had to shine for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. No. MJ. MJ is another. Yeah. MJ is another perfect example. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. Where he is like, he's kind of a fusion artist. He's kind of like a pioneer in that sense with Prince at the same era. Like, yeah. What do you say, MJ? MJ has so many rock. He has so a song Eddie, with Eddie Van Halen as well. Yeah. Like, that's an exact example. Like, he he kind of touched everything. Like, <laughs> no, super in a good way. Super in a good way. Yeah, yeah. I saw him react. He was like, I don't, nah. I was heartbroken. No, 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 no. That song. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, we listened to like, one of the Jacksons too. Like before, yeah. Jackson, but off, that's something we listened to a lot. Like going to this project for sure. Mm-hmm. Always the LCD thing though. What was that yeah. song we listened to all the time? Uh man. Oh crap! I forgot it. Torture? Torture. Yeah, torture. Torture. Yeah, 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 fire. Oh my god. I played that all the time. I yeah, yeah. Like, like, I was crazy. Hell like, like, yeah. I would say that, like, going to work, he sent it to me. He's like, yo, let's make something like this. And I was yeah. like, damn, I forgot what the song song's fire. It's like, oh, like, George Benson, too. Like, yeah. I, like, he's great. Like, he teamed up with Quincy Jones for a bunch of records. Like, that, that, that's amazing. Uh, go off the OCD thing, like, like, my brain is, like, never off creatively. And I, I'm, like, up, like, all times of the day. Man. I'm just pacing around. Going off. <laughs> just like, no, I'm really fucking like, obsessed. Like, I really want to. I used to go out uh, on these blocks, and he'd be like, I'll be right back. I'm like, where are you going? Oh, I'm just going off the yeah, block. Yeah, yeah. He'd be, like, walking up and down the block. Yeah. Like, just, like, <laughs> just, see him, walk, yeah, 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 just like, see him walking back and yeah. forth. Like, like, that always, old lady would be able to walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm always thinking. I'm always, like, I'm always thinking, like, if I'm not thinking about, like, writing, I'm thinking about, like, what can we do creatively to promote this or things like that. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'll check on his page, I'll write to what I can, I'll come up with something else. It's just like, I'm always like thinking about something like that. Quincy, like this, Drew will send someone a track and there'll be an essay with that one track. Yeah. Like, listening to that. Not nah, tracks, tracks I sent myself. So. Mm, you said like a I track. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, no. <laughs> he, got, he got no examples of whatever. But no, but like in terms of, <laughs> in terms of like just how, like the vision, like I'm really hands on. The mm-hmm. is an email. Yeah. He, oh, no, right. he goes on these things called bum walks, so he'll find something that he likes and he'll walk from 157 down to West 4th. Yeah. Right? Just thinking of a bunch of ideas and sending you like 20 <laughs> texts with yeah. a minute. Except bum walks. <laughs> yeah. Like I'll, I'll have this kind of like. 57. Oh, oh yeah. Like, yo, yeah, you go from Harlem yeah. to the village. Yeah, and it'll be really quick. It'll be like in 33 minutes and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, he yeah. Okay, so just he, know. Know. he does those power walks, but he's literally like dislocating his hips with every step. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, like, I, yo, I was getting the zone though, and like, <laughs> yeah, honestly, no. Like, okay, it's like, a lot of people call me Forrest, because like, I will walk, walk, like, walk, walk all of New York, and it's like, just go on, like, I'll just, I'll see, like, I'll visualize something or like internalize something, and I'm like, yo. Like I could, I honestly plan out the next five years of my career like in this in that moment, and it's just like it's like that window of creativity. You don't want to let it go or anything. So like so many people complain about like block and stuff like that, and I, I, if I if I see it, I'm just like on a wave. Mm-hmm. Is your sorry? Is your notes the note section in your phone like full? No, nah, you'd be surprised. I have like nothing in there. You don't write anything. I like I, oh like uh, for songs for songs. I like, ideas. Oh, the parts of great. Uh, it's all in his eye messages. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's all yeah. It's all yeah. I think once an idea is fresh, he'll just text it to us and be like, "Yo, this yeah, is, this is what I have in mind, and we'll just have to like either save it or." Like, yeah, I don't plan an essay. I don't write it out. I just, I just scream conscious, tell them a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. It's like, yeah. is it like one of those things where you hear the door close and you're like, "Oh, there's Drew again." He's yeah, like, he's just not. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Nah, like this became this became yeah. like, like a roast Drew session. This is crazy. So you have ideas like, more just like <laughs> rapid fire, like I'm sending yeah, twenty five yeah. texts. Like, yeah, get, get this off my brain. What do you think? What do you? Yeah, think? like a lot of yeah, a lot of Basically. times. Yeah, yeah. And this is not. I'm just. I just find this very interesting yeah. how different creative people's brains work. That's all. I'm no, no, no. I'm kidding around. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like uh, I get a little like manic sometimes, 
and like I kind of experience a little bit of hypomania, and like you get like a uh, like a lot of creative ideas yeah. in that moment. Yeah, so it's just like I'm taking advantage of this. Yeah, it's like it's like a mental skill that you have, and you just gotta like really hone it. So mm. it's like if I think differently than a lot of people, then I gotta like take advantage of that. It's like it's not there. It's there for a reason. Like I said, like everything's for a reason. So. Mm, yeah. What do you want to accomplish with this project? Like, what, or do you have any set goals for this project, or is it more so like I gave this my all, I put it out here, and whatever happens happens? Oh no, nah, like they yeah, said, I, I might, I, I might myself. have something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually a good thing. Like, I listened to this project to and through. We worked in like these guys were in the studio this weekend, just adding the finishing, the finishing touches to everything, and like, I mean, really listened to this thing front and back. It's a soundtrack in a sense to like millennial love. You know, like mm-hmm. that's that's what my intention was honestly with the two. Yeah, like we're going on hookup culture. Like that's like that's that's a big inspiration. Like I honestly, this is like a serious, like a like a trivial kind of uh, um, comparison. But I feel like we want so much. Like we want the optimal optimal result, minimal risk. So mm-hmm. you even see that in every, every industry. Like even like basketball. Like everyone's shooting threes because like, it's the optimal result, minimal risk, like that. Yeah. Like dating is honestly like now dating is like everyone's shooting threes. Everyone's got three people they're dating, a whole like thing. Like, it's not, the monogamy is kind of like not the same. Will I swipe left or will I swipe right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't fucking yeah, there's so many, there's so many <laughs> options now. There's so many different things to do. But there's, I mean, that's not like the, the exact narrative, but like there's a larger narrative now to dating. Yeah. Because the, the internet, like once again, the, inter- the internet, honestly, like I don't, I wanted to get into this into a concept, like for later on for a project. Because like I keep telling y'all, I drop so many projects this year, like oh, I, I go in the zone like that. But like, yeah. the internet is the rock star this day and age. Like you got like Frank Sinatra in the twenties, then you got Elvis, and then you got like you could go down the line, right? Mm-hmm. But the last person in my opinion, like MJ, MJ was like tops. Then Facebook, honestly, no one, no one. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Because no one dominates the industry the same way like MJ. Like mm-hmm. I, like you can listen to whoever it is, like, but you can also not listen to them because you have the option to not listen to them anymore. I don't know, man. I'll show this confession still not. I mean, that's, that's great, but like, you yeah. can't go, oh, yeah. Let's say, I can go for months without that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, like, if Thriller comes out, you can't avoid that. That's yeah. like one of the best problems of all time. Like, now you can like, pick and choose and you can kind of like hold yourself in or kind of like be exposed, like you said, exposed to anything else. Yeah. But the internet is the rock side of the stage. Like, everyone's kind of equal on a different playing field. Like, everyone's got their own stands and different like fans and people who go hard for them. It's not the same. Everyone has the same outlet. Yeah. Which is why I think like music nowadays is it, or anything, any kind of artistry is very crucial. Because at the end of the day, these guys can make something that resonates with the world. They can make something that one person listens to and that's it. Yeah. Honestly, and honestly it's a testament too. We're all friends here because of the internet. Like yeah. as we're here because the internet is like the rock star. Like yeah. I said, like I don't I mean I don't know how you guys got together too, but I'm guessing some way or another, internet, you know? No. No, 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 Ran across, he's like, oh, okay, cool. Oh, no, I mean, I, they got DM Jarrell. They did. <laughs> that was it. Slid right in my DMs. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but yeah, I, I want this to be good, cool. Like, for you personally, like, they could have different, uh, different responses, but this is like a really good building block, I feel like. Mm. Or, mm. Do y'all have any other expectations for the project? I mean, I'm just hoping for the best, to be honest. Like, I don't even, I don't know. Cause it's like the first thing that we're putting out. Yeah. yeah so sure. it, it's like, we need to, I don't know, just go, go get it. it. Yeah, go through it, uh, do our first shows, like get the popper cherry, basically. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> honestly, too, like, like a big inspiration to me, like, I mean, he's a really polarizing figure, but in terms of just like how I live my life, um, I don't know one time L.A. Reid like said Kanye is such a like confident guy, but he works that hard to get confidence. So like I'm not like I'm not gonna come on here and be like, oh I'm just hoping that's the best. Like I really feel like you're gonna like this today or you're gonna like this tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Like like this is gonna this is gonna be dope. But like the thing is, we're all really creative guys who put our minds together. We want to be ahead of the curve. So like if you don't understand it now, the genre now, like you're gonna get it eventually. Like there was a song I sent him. And me and him, were fu- we fucking love this song. We love this song so much. But you guys probably didn't get, get to it yet. If you got to like four or something. I'll get but to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, so, yeah, so he asked it to him. And then the other day he texted me, he's like, yo, this song, you were right, you were right. I'm just like, yo, it's not right now, right now, but it, it, you're gonna get it. And he yeah. got, he texted me like right away. He was just like, the thing is that like, you got a freedom right now. All of us, like we are trying, but like, 
when you're irrelevant in terms of like not on top, mm -hmm. you have so much freedom. No one's controlling you. No one's telling you this, this, that you don't have a company controlling your creativity. Yeah. You can just do whatever you want. So like I'd rather just put something out and build off it, build off that, build off that. And what you did to start is always there. Like from the beginning. Like maybe we three that project down the road, you're like, oh crap. The first project was really ahead of the curve. Like, wow, you listen to this now. Like there's so many people like that. You listen to like the earlier shit, but I like we talked about the OCD thing and like I I all of that OCD and like passion, it's to justify me walking around like, yo, I'm I'm making something dope right here, I'm signing some dope with my friends, like and I did that too, honestly, to with move. It's just like, I wanted to inspire my friends to do the same thing. I wanted to take the same risks. Like, if you're my boy, maybe you're you're like, yo, this is dope. I like his tracks, I wanna do the same, I wanna have the same work ethic. Or maybe you're like, yo, you ain't shit, why are you being so confident? <laughs> and then people say, move me wrong, be better, that's it. Mm -hmm. And then, either way, you inspire the culture of the people around you. Cause like, the New York gets that narrative of being like haters and stuff like that. So like, fuck it, if you're gonna like hate, then like be better than me. But like, you gotta walk around like, if you, if you walk around being timid, like, oh, I hope this is good, or that, I'm not saying that with your response, but like, it was more I, like, yeah, I, don't, I know it's good. He, he knows, he knows, yeah, like, he knows. I know it's nah, good. Nah, trust me, this dude, oh my god. He's like, mad like that. He's like, no, I don't, yeah. <laughs> he like, listen. Nah, he's mad, yeah. <laughs> he got the hand, he got the hand in his hand. He's, he's like, definitely, listen. he's definitely, <laughs> yeah. this is good. All he's right. definitely one of the most confident people I know. He's definitely <laughs> one of the most confident people I know, especially, but like, when you're starting a collective, when you're starting any group like this, you guys know, like, Sometimes you're the beacon with your confidence to kind of inspire the people. It's like, how can we? All I was saying is like, you never know. No, I know. You never know. Yeah. Like, you never know. Yeah. Like, how many people are gonna hear your shit? Because I know we have the shit. It's just, but it's like the only shit is like how many people are gonna hear it. That's mm -hmm. what I was getting at. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah like, no, I agree. I agree. At, at, like, yo, if we get people, like everybody that's gonna listen to our shit, they're gonna get a That's not what I was saying. It's more like. I'm not hoping that people like I know that people will like it. It's just like we need to get we no, need, we need to get heard. No, like, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I was just clarifying. I was just clarifying that yeah. because like that is our mindset. Like that that's someone's gonna like listen to it within a given time. Yeah. yeah. And I think that just going on like Neo Noir as, as the branding, I think that it, it best represents like the best aspects of these two, of Jerome and Siggy, because it's like I know how to explain it. <laughs> This guy right here, Drew, he's one of the most confident people I've ever met in my life, mm -hmm. right? And then it's just as a marriage with, with Siggy, who he made these, these instrumentals and he was uploading them to like YouTube. They're so cinematic. And it was just like, yeah, you could have a trillion rappers discover him and like just try throwing like whatever bars on it. They might make a hot song and stuff like that. But the fact that this like, the, the chemistry between them and the, the song that they've created thus far and, it, and their project is just, it's, it's a romance. Yeah, no, yeah definitely was agreeing with him. I just wanted to like elaborate more just because and, I agree, yeah, I agree. Yeah. And, and I think that it's going on the sound of it, it shows like the frustrations. It yeah. shows like this guy he'll speak on all the bullshit that he's gone through just trying to get this project done. Yeah, right? yeah. So for the course of you got yeah, you gotta let a lot of bullshit fuel you, honestly. But like the reason I got a lot of optimism and hope for it is like we like naturally, like we shouldn't have like ever met up and made music like this. It's like you know what I'm saying? Like this is the kind of inspiring like, you bring people together and you don't even know like it's just like everything's kind of gravitating towards this product. Like, it, mm -hmm. think of it not even as music, just a product, and everyone's kind of just gravitating, coming together because they believe in the product, and like that's how you're going to move the culture a little bit. Yeah, gotcha. I kind of, I don't know, it's not really a negative question, but I like people to understand like obstacles and struggles because, like, if you're talking about like you know making music and doing this project, it, it almost sounds as people might interpret it to be like, oh, you know, we had no obstacles, you know, we got together, we got in the studio, everything worked out perfectly. Nah. So, like, if you nah. can just speak a little about yeah. like, like every even, 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 one, even one obstacle and like how you guys overcame that, and you know, uh, how there's, you guys, like, you so, start? there's so many, like, us living in different countries and trying to make that work. Living together in the same apartment and then like his ex was still there and trying to like we're trying to make music and mm -hmm. all stuff's going on. Like for like since we met, like I've tried to fucking kill myself. <laughs> like oh, yeah, I thought you meant like this is you pain the ass. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, actually. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. we've gone through a lot of shit together. Yeah. We've gone to fucking bar fights together. We like yeah. we've we've gone through all this shit. Like he's seen me at my darkest time, like um so like it's definitely not been like a fucking dance on fucking roses like it's been it's been a fucking it's been a crazy time like it's been ups and downs um yeah like, i don't even know like i can't even go even further than that like finance is a, 
is always finances. We've been broke together. We've been yeah. fucking like crying about shit. Like, you know, we have no money. Like, go oh, can't go to the bar. Fuck. Like, that's <laughs> really go to the bar. I think the best way to describe their obstacles is I was planning on visiting these guys in Toronto way back in October. <laughs> and, um, I was gonna go there. I was gonna take a bus out there on Friday, and Drew texted me. He's like, "Yo, yeah, it's cool. You can sleep on the floor and stuff." But if you gotta take a shit, you gotta go to subway. Yeah, and yeah, I think yeah. that our, is, our that toilet is was fogged for like three months. Yeah. Like three months. That's because of him, you know, he takes mad shit. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't even need nah. to know all that. Nah, I don't know. Nah. He's that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's just getting his creative juices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's a precursor right here. That's, that's a catalyst. <laughs> that's a catalyst. I was just shit. Oh, Tom, yeah. what time? 
Huh? What time? Uh, so it starts at eight thirty. I think his door is at what seven? 7 yeah, 7 doors open at seven fifteen. Seven fifteen. Yeah. Oh, dope. We'll put that up too for you. Yeah, put it on the IG page. page. That's dope. Yeah. yeah, I mean, normally when artists come on, we normally ask them to like you know perform or sing or so right. you know if you want to sing, you know I'm gonna leave that option open for you. Oh uh, yeah. Aramis yeah. got me in beatboxing, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> there you go, spit those sixteens. Like right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I need y'all being nice and I yeah. ask. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just like yo, say some shit. I wish we had a guitar or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just, I would have brought my guitar and said, yeah. Uh, I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to. Uh, yeah, but if you guys want to have us on the game, we'll, we'll perform for you. Uh, uh, it ain't for me. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. Also, <laughs> I'll prefer a Young Thug type beat if I want to rap. Okay. Oh, yeah. His name is not Young Thug. No oh, sex. sex. I'm sorry. Can I got sex oh, yeah, type beat. What's his name? Yeah. Yeah. Sex. I saw that article. Smart fitting. Smart fitting. <laughs> I was like, I don't need this. I love it. Yeah. Me too. Yo, yo, <laughs> I do too. Yo, I do too. That's why I just eat. Yo, he's a rock. Yo, he's a rock. Yo, I love that guy. Sex. Like, when I need to get sex. So we rolling, man. Is it true, <laughs> is it true that, like, uh, sex was the Gucci Mane someone signed him and just like, never even hearing his music or something like that? Someone signed him. Someone signed him. Someone, like, co signed him. Like, oh, never no. hearing him. They just saw, like, his fucking, like, persona and just, like, I know this guy's fucking good. I heard that somewhere. I hope that's not true. <laughs> Yo, he looked weird back in the day. Yeah, he's, no, 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 yeah, it's true. Uh, <laughs> we definitely appreciate you guys going on the podcast. Like, you guys. Definitely appreciate, appreciate you guys coming through. Proud. Um, you got any lasting words you want to shout out, like your IGs or, or your social media? Or last word about the project? All My IG is trash. Don't go in there. <laughs> Wait, it is trash. Uh, you can you can find. Yeah, I don't think anyone can like find us as like really pompous asshole. Maybe you guys do, but like we definitely roast ourselves a lot, and we uh, <laughs> we're definitely like self-deprecating. As you see, <laughs> you can go to blackplanet.com/slash new nor. Uh, we also have a Skonex page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see Dan? Uh, Black dog company. Yeah, we uh, we kind of like photoshopped him getting like, having sex with some like, yeah, fuck you. Wait first, man. Uh, yeah. No, you gotta put that on the website too. Uh, my, my you'll, you'll, email, you'll email them that picture. My Instagram is <laughs> my Instagram. Yeah, no, it can't, it can't go out to the public now. Nah, maybe. Okay, check my Instagram. Okay, check my Instagram tonight <laughs> at unders- well, at young underscore stamos. Yeah. You got a John Stamos vibe going on. I use right? Uncle Jesse no. type type. <laughs> oh, Twitter at young, young Uncle Jesse. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Is that one word? Young Uncle yeah, Jesse. Yeah, yeah. Oh, George Michael, Michael, Michael vibe. Yeah. Yeah. What about the rest? Change it all the time. Yeah. Should we shout out the SoundCloud Facebook page? Um, yeah. I mean, I, y'all can do that. Yeah. I, mean, I can do this. I mean, what's what's the Facebook? Neon R. Just Facebook Neon R. SoundCloud just Neon R. Yeah, you uh, send all these links. Everything, cool. everything, the same yeah, now, but yeah, send yeah, them yeah, so yeah, everything, uh, everything is Neonar. Um, I mean, your Instagram, Siggy? Uh, my Instagram is at Bees Lord. That's B E E. You said C over here, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. C L O R D. Uh, Twitter at S B the Lord. Yeah. Wait, what do you say in Canada? Z. Uh, Z. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, cool. He's like, you say Z over here, right? Um, you can find me. I got manage these guys, but I got some upcoming musical shit I'm working on too. It's a uh, I am Dan R. Um, I dot M dot Dan and dot R. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everything was taken, so that's all I all I could work with. But um, yeah, yeah, we got Aaron and I got some upcoming shit we're working on too. Um, production. Music, all that stuff. So stay tuned. New Nor might become a collective. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's it's these two, but like I said, it could become bigger than that, and it will be. Yeah. I'm confident. I'm confident in these two. These two are like gold, waiting to be discovered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And damn, yes. the real business, man. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. they don't walk any bigger than that. <laughs> these two are like gold. Yo, I love it. I feel I, it, man. I love I, it. I gotta be honest. I'm I'm trying to be a Diddy Jay Z. I see, but I can but I can see that in you. I, I love that, yeah. man. You're almost as good as Diddy as a rapper, too. I told you, yeah, we always talk about Diddy. I mean, Diddy, I mean, which Diddy are you talking about? If Mace Mace is writing the shit, then, you know. That should be nice. Oh, man. It's yeah. the point when you realize you're like the dumbest social media. <laughs> Instagram La Flecha 2017. <laughs> that is L A F L E C H A 
zero one seven on Fetch <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna get that. So you created, you created this last year. No, it's the year. 2018. You should shout out your past ones. What was it? Billy Bukaki? Was it? Billy Bukaki, <laughs> left hand, Lorenzo, right hand, Ronaldo, Felipe <laughs> Fuego. Yo, yo. The last one kind of hot. Time out. Is that shit right? Changing Instagram name Felipe Fuego. Right now, man. Exactly. Somebody said Felipe Fuego. Somebody said Felipe Fuego. I'll just be breaking the lead. Fuego? But now we definitely appreciate you guys coming through. All the listeners, make sure you guys check out the Game Awards album. What's that? What's that? Not all there while you were here. Make sure you check that out. Hopefully, sometime this weekend when it when it drops. If not, <laughs> check it Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, for sure. Monday, it'll show. be there for Monday for sure. It'll, it'll be up there. Yeah, and it'll definitely be out Monday. Then make sure y'all check out Neil Noir's album. It's definitely and the show. Oh yeah, and the show coming yeah. on the twenty sixth. Make yeah. sure y'all. Yeah, yeah. I have some. Oh, sorry. No, I have some uh, feature performances as well in the upcoming months. Like, well. Yeah, cool. You have to send it to us. We'll put it up on the on the Instagram page. Yeah, yeah but uh, make sure y'all y'all check their music out. It's gonna be available everywhere, all streaming platforms. Uh, Check out the show on the 26th if y'all in the New York City area. So we definitely appreciate you guys coming on. Yeah, thank you. And as always, you guys keep listening to the podcast. We appreciate all the love and support. Make sure you rate, share, subscribe. Keep passing the brand on Cool Now. has been phenomenal. Like We've been blowing up and it's been amazing just because of all the listeners and how you guys have been sharing and supporting the podcast. Really appreciate that. Make sure you check out the YouTube page. Kev out here working hard on that. <laughs> making, sure, <laughs> making sure y'all get the full uh, video. So now, if you know, you get tired of listening to us, you can watch us as well. Uh, so make sure you check out the YouTube page. We got any other announcements? No, I'm just working on some stuff. Yeah, working on some stuff. On some uh, stuff. Should have the website done. Uh, hopefully, within the next couple weeks, have a new website. Um, so yeah, just keep making sure you have support. We appreciate everything. Until next time, it's cooling out. Stay cool. There we go. Thank you, man.